Patty Moreno, the garden girl. And I'm Mel Bartholomew, the square foot gardening guy. You know, one of, and this has to be on the top of the list of the most frequently asked questions, is six inches really deep enough to grow your vegetable garden? Right, that is a good question. And it's hard for people to understand when they've been used to being told you have to dig real deep, you have to turn the soil over, you have to constantly be rototilling it. In fact, uh, when I give a lecture or a symposium, uh, one of the trick questions is, how do you grow 12 inch long carrots in six inches of soil? <laughs> and of course it's very difficult, but we have a solution for that. But let me answer the question at the very beginning. I was looking for a better way to garden. Obviously, square foot gardening is much easier, simpler, no tools, reduces the size of a garden to only 20%, saves water, saves seeds, all those things. And you take better care of your garden. But you still had to dig up the existing ground and mix it with some really good stuff. And I, I went to some commercial greenhouses. And when I walked in, there were these benches. And on the benches were boxes. And the boxes were made out of wood and they were only six inches deep and they're filled with a soil mix. And I asked him, what kind of soil? He said, oh, that's perfect soil. Well, I got thinking, Mills Mix, the formula, one third peat moss, one third vermiculite, and one third compost is a perfect mix. It all, all those are natural. They hold water. They also drain well. And they're growing all these crops, peppers, eggplant, uh, tomatoes, flowers, geraniums, everything, not in individual containers, but on the bench in a box. And the tomatoes, by the way, had strings attached and they go right up to the ceiling, they grow them vertically. Well, I thought, if they can do that in a commercial greenhouse, why can't that whole concept be on the ground and be done in a square foot garden? So I experimented and I put our boxes on the ground didn't dig up the existing ground, just put them right on top, put down a weed cloth so the weeds wouldn't come up through into the soil mix. And now, of course, the experts told me, can't do it. You need 12 inches, you need 18 inches, roots go real far. And I said, well, why are they going real far, real deep? Well, they're looking for moisture and they're looking for nutrients. I thought, wait a minute, Mel's mix has 10 times the amount of nutrients because we're using compost as one third of the mix, all the ingredients are not only natural and organic, the peat moss, the vermiculite, and the compost, but that holds a lot of water. The roots stayed right there because it had all the nutrients and all the moisture it needed. And I thought, well, why would we go to 12 inches deep if six inches is enough? 12 inches costs twice as much, takes twice as much work. Let's stick with six inches. So I did it, and all over the country where I put in different display gardens, it worked. Six inches worked. Now, the experts still came back and said, well, yeah, but. They love to say, yeah, but. <clears throat> what about tomatoes? What about corn? They send roots way out. And again, I'd ask them, what are they looking for? And I found out that even one tomato plant in one square foot, only six inches deep, will grow just fine. And now we've even grown things like, uh, well, what are some, berry bushes, strawberries, we've put in asparagus, all kinds of things that you would normally wouldn't expect, still grows in six inches. It goes back to, it's a perfect soil mix. Well, thanks so much for answering that burning question. Yes. It's true, and if you don't believe it, try it yourself. I'm Patty Moreno, the Garden Girl, and definitely check out more answers from Mel as part of our frequently asked questions.